Hey, hey, what's up? I was thinking today about time limits and sense of urgency. What do they call that when you're making an offer? Uh, when you do your call to action on an offer. Oh, hell. It, where you're going to run out of time if you, don't, if you don't take advantage of this right now. And I was wondering, what is it that get some people to take action and some don't it's uh, it's something to do with human beings where when they're faced with an almost impossible situation and things are very bad and they've got to do something right now to either save their life or get something done and some will just fold and they don't do anything. They, they're frozen. And some turn into supermen and women and they, they just go nuts and get things done. And it's nothing, it's not to say that it's something wrong with the people that freeze or that they're less of a person or anything like that. It's not, that's not the case. I don't know what exactly it is, but I'll tell you what, if I could put this in a pill or you know, and I take an eyedropper and put in, and take a drop of it, and it would it would make you turn into that superhuman. I would be the richest man on earth in about a year. <laughs> and I'm thinking about this because because there's there's a there's a course that I'm doing, and apparently it has a time limit, and all the course materials will disappear if you haven't finished within the allotted time. And I think that's kind of crazy, and I'm not exactly sure if that's accurate or if they have a certain way of doing it. And in a way, it's good. In a way, I think it's bad. See, I used to say, don't quit your job because if, you, if you're not getting stuff done on the weekends in your spare time, then you're not going to get it done if you don't have a job. You can't just quit your job and say, okay, now I'm going to jump into this. And that's what I used to say. And now, I don't say that anymore. Now I've got a different way of looking at it because I have found that there is a shift in your paradigm, in your mindset, if you will, when your back is against a wall. And I have felt it, and I've seen the difference, and I've watched what happened to me, and I am constantly every single day attempting to make myself a better person. I want to be more effective. I want to be better at what I'm doing. So I took a very hard look at this and I'm attempting to understand it. And I, I don't have a firm grip on it yet, except for the fact that I know that this is a real phenomena and it happens. If only I could just endow people with it and turn it on for them and say, here, this is what you got to do. A lot of it, I, I wrote an article, wow, this was ancient history. I'm talking way long time ago. And it said, if you don't have enough pain in your life, create it. And what I meant was, people don't do anything unless they're in bad shape. They, you don't, uh, for instance, a meme on 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 the internet or whatever to say don't be pushed by your fears be pulled by your dreams or your goals that's false because hardly anybody does that and even the people that do the fear will still work better fear of loss fear of missing out fear of something if you think you're going to lose something it's a far far stronger motivator than if you think you're going to gain something this is just a fact you don't have to like it. You can deny it if you want, but for, for crying out loud, use it, especially in your marketing. When it comes to you, though, when it comes to you, look deeply into yourself and your motivations for doing things. And when you're, when you're convincing yourself to take this action, to build your business, to make something happen, yes, think of how you want your life to be in the future, the gains that you're going to have, but do not neglect the downside. Do not let yourself forget the bad things that will happen 
if you don't achieve what it is you're after. Because, like it or not, fear and sense of loss and that that feeling that things are just going to be awful and terrible and you can't stand it, that is going to be the strongest motivator you'll ever find. It's just the way it is. So remember that. Don't forget the downside. That's all I got for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.